Hey guys, so I'm back again with a Target haul. And I want to say for the record, I walked into Target just for lotion and walked out with all of these random things that I'm about to share with you. So I probably should have went in spending $5 and I walked out spending about 80. But obviously we needed everything that we get at Target, right? You don't not need anything you see at Target. So let's start off with the first thing that grabbed my attention when I walked through the door. Yes, this bag. Why? I don't know. They also had it in black, which was very tempting, but honestly, I just, I loved it and I had to have it. It was $26 and it's been a while since I bought myself a purse and I don't know, I just, this screamed fall festivals to me. It is one of those like cross body um, satchels, I guess you can call it. I'll have a picture for you guys to check out what it looked like on, I took a quick picture when I wore it yesterday. It is super comfy, it's super light, it really um, kind of makes me not have to carry everything in the world because if you know me, you know I typically just carry around my huge Louis Vuitton. And honestly, I don't need half of the stuff that's in there, so it's nice just to have the bare essentials in here. And it feels very nice. It definitely doesn't feel cheap, and for only $27 you think it would, but it really doesn't, and um, yeah, I've been enjoying it. And then there's this guy, which is the reason I went to Target to begin with. I typically buy the Good by Burt's Bees um, body lotion, which near me you can only find at Target. But they had this guy on a display and I tried a little bit and for half the price and double the amount of product, I decided to go with this guy. This is the St. Ives Naturally Indulgent Body Lotion in Coconut Milk and Orchid Extract. It says it's 100% natural moisturizers. It's fast absorbing, non-greasy. And I have been using this. Um, I used it the day I bought it, obviously, and then today after I got out of the shower. And I have to say, I have been loving it so far. It smells really nice. It's definitely not greasy. It is fast absorbing. So, so, so far, so good. And you guys know I'm kind of like a lotion snob. Um, but I've really been enjoying this. And anything with a pump, as far as lotion goes is amazing to me sorry I had to close my window I feel like it's like all those bugs are all you guys hear <laughs> okay so they were having their like back to school type of sales where at the end or almost every beginning aisle was all like college stuff stuff that was on sale um, for back to school time obviously and honestly those are the things that kind of got me and of course I had to get a stack of washcloths. We actually don't have that many washcloths. We don't typically use them, but for only $3 and there's eight in here, I thought that that was a really good deal. Um, and they're very, very soft feeling. I hope that after a few washes, they still stay nice, but yeah, they're only $3. We needed them and another one of those things, just throw it in the cart because we need it. Also picked up some face towels um, for the bathroom. I'm doing like a beachy type theme in the bathroom and typically we have either white or gray towels, but I thought it would be nice to put a little pop of color in there. If you guys know me, you know that I buy everything in black, white, gray, like just like neutral colors. Um, so while I did that around my entire house, I'm still trying to incorporate some pops of color. So it's the little things. I think these are only two bucks each. So $4 for new hand towels and yeah, they feel nice too. So. I gotta get these, gotta get these upstairs. Okay, so next I saw some hangers on sale. These were only $2 as well, and there was 18 in here. This is something that we never have enough of, so I picked up actually two of these. Didn't go to Target for hangers, but walked out with uh, 40. <laughs> and then on one of the end caps, I saw this guy on sale for only $2, all these two, 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 twos, um, and I thought it was so cute. It was one of the only letters left, um, and obviously this is for our last name, and we don't have a lot of decorations, and I do love like initials around the house or whatever, so I thought that this was cute, and it was originally, I guess $5, and it was on sale for $2, so just like a cork type of material. Um, I feel like you can even probably use it as a push, push, push pin board another bag of randoms so we don't have an ironing board and i always said if i find an ironing pad that i would pick it up and this was only five dollars so i said you know what let me get it it says it's safe ironing on any flat surface foldable ideal for travel um, and i just like the idea of not having a um, ironing table even though i obviously think you probably can iron better with them um, I just don't really want an ironing board anywhere, so I bought this. Hopefully it works well. If you guys ever used an ironing pad, let me know what you think. We've also been needing a Swiffer duster. My mom has about 20 of these things and, you know, I'm kind of a little bit of a clean freak, so I want to clean around some um, ceiling fans and some vents and stuff like that, and this just works so well. So I picked this guy up and this is the Swiffer 360 Duster Extender. Three times traps and locks. 
you know, standard household item, right? Another standard household item that is kind of weird to show you guys, but this is the Scrub and Bubbles Fresh Brush Flushable Refills. This is how I clean our toilets. If you're ever wondering how, this is how. I bought this little stick guy, and these are the refills. You scrub, 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 flush them down the toilet. I don't like to keep those things next to my toilet. Those little toilet brush cleaners things grosses me out. So these are nice because just flush them down the toilet when you're done. And that's everything. Four bags full of random but honestly, I'm happy I got everything because I didn't need it all. It's all going to good use. <laughs> I could just not go to Target if I'm bored. I just, just can't. I honestly shouldn't go there for anything unless I really, really need to because I always walk out with a million things that I don't need. Unless I like be, it like honestly is a whole, like it's a job to walk in there and not look at anything else. Like it's very, it's easy to just like shop around, look around, you can spend so long in there. But if I walk in there and just have like, I need to just beeline. Like it takes all my concentration to just not look anywhere else, get what I need, walk out. Sometimes I can pull that off, but not often. Anyways, everybody knows this. This is not a revelation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.